what do you do when you have your Swifter? You, you press the button, nothing happens. It's only been a few months. Well, I got a few ideas you can check. We're gonna start with the battery. Check this out. I wrote the date when we got this. This is two and a half months old. It's dead. If you buy this from Walmart, buy the warranty. It's like $3 for a warranty for this. First thing, you gotta check the batteries. Swifter batteries are right here. Just push up on that. It's not that hard. If you have trouble, you have to just get like a tool or something and push up. It'll come out really easy. Old models have four batteries, new models have two batteries. I know these batteries are good because this is only like two months old. Get out your battery tester. 1.6 volts. Brand spanking new pretty much. 1.6 volts. These are good. Batteries are good. So why doesn't the pump work? Check these tabs down here. Sometimes these tabs can be bent up too far and then just get up a pin or a screwdriver and just kind of kind of stretch them back out a little bit this this might fix your problem too try this before you take this apart we gotta open this up these motors are just garbage pop out your liquid you got to remove a screw down here the old ones this has um, the new ones have a screw here they all have a screw here the new ones have two screws up here you gotta remove also. They are hidden right down here. So you gotta take two screws out from right in there. And then here are the two end screws. They're pretty small. I don't know if I can show you where those where those go. Those screws are right here and right right here. So the two corners, just take those out. This part's a little tricky. Just get like a pry tool or spatula here. I'm gonna lift this up over where the screw was. And you wanna push this back and you wanna pull. So here we go. I got my pry tool in here. Push that down, pull back, popped off. It's actually a little bit harder than I make it look. And the problem is the motor here. Let's see what happens if we hit the motor. Hit that a few times. You can see right here, if I zoom in, this has a crack in it. And this is only, like I said, not very old. All right, so I hit the motor a few times. Wiggle the cord, hit the motor a few times. It's working. It's working for now. So that's... Probably a temporary fix. We can't, re can't remove the motor, and we can't spray any dioxide in this motor. The old motors has an opening you could spray uh, some dioxide in there, like this. Or maybe some um, white lithium grease, or something like that, I was thinking, but can't get to the motor. These are built so cheap. Best bet if you test the batteries, they're fine. Pull those tabs out that I showed you, that's fine. You want to open it, tap the motor. It might work, might not. You got to remove one or three screws depending on the model you have, newer or older. That's a temporary fix. Your best bet is you buy a new one, get the $3 warranty. That's my best advice for you. Comment below. These are a piece of garbage. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click over here for one of my other repair videos. Comment, subscribe. I read every comment. I'll reply to you. Thanks for watching.